attempt at filming this video. Me without caffeine leads to me being distracted, yet me with too much caffeine leads to me being more distracted. It's been a trying day. Today I'm doing my March favorites video for you guys and I'm not gonna do a long intro because I have so many things to talk to you about. Let's talk about fashion. I had two separate looks that I leaned towards this month. One was totally glitz and glam up and the other end of the spectrum was like hair tied, chilling with no makeup on, sweatpants. So on the grungy end, I am obsessed with this sweatshirt and this is like a varsity style sweatshirt from the brand Riot that says kale on it, which is ironic because it's like looking athletic and I don't do anything athletic. And I like kale. Plus Beyonce had it, so enough reasoning as it is. My next fashion-y favorite are my glasses. These ones are from Warby Parker and they are the Crosby in shade black. And let me try them on for you. We've got double prescription going on right now. Contacts plus glasses, so okay. You guys actually helped me pick out these glasses last year, I wanna say. They've got this at-home try-on program where they send you five glasses and you've got them for a week. You can try them on, take pictures, show them to your friends. And what I did was I showed them to you guys. It's like we went shopping together. They donate a pair of glasses to someone in need for every pair of glasses purchased from the site, which I think is absolutely amazing and awesome. And the glasses are super affordable compared to most prescription glasses. So now all of you guys who thought it sucked wearing glasses, now it's like another accessory. You go, Glen Coco. If you guys do in fact order from Warby Parker, if you use the coupon code Megan, you can get expedited shipping on that. So I'll have that linked down below. Oh, you're so macho. And my last fashion favorite are statement necklaces. I love them so much. I'm currently wearing one from Bobo Bar right now. This one is another one of my favorites. I think it's so pretty and so special. My style is kind of more like earthy bohemian and I love it. And then think of like Sarah Bell 93X, super preppy and she loves it too. So no matter what your style is or what your price range is, you're always going to find something. And if you do decide to purchase something from Bobo Bar, maybe you can get this necklace or the other one that I showed and we can be twinsies. Make sure to use bobobar.com slash Megan and they're giving my subscribers 20% off, which is so awesome and make sure you enter the coupon code Megan at checkout to get that 20% off I hope you guys are excited because I'm excited for you my skincare favorite month I bought from Target and it is from boots and it's the botanics gentle cleansing cream and this is a ultra calming makeup remover you apply this to your dry skin and it really breaks down your makeup without being any really abrasive to your skin I find if I use makeup wipes more than just like when I'm traveling or something like that if I use them on a daily basis my skin looks really raw and red and just doesn't feel as good. This takes away all of the makeup, but it doesn't leave my skin feeling irritated or gross, and I'm just obsessed with it. So I've gone to my handy dandy Saint Tropez bronzing mousse. I just have the travel size. I feel like this is something that everybody knows about and talks about on YouTube. It's just a really good self tanner. Like right now, I feel like I look like a bronze goddess, and it's all due to this thing. My first makeup favorite is the Stay Flawless 15 Hour Primer by Benefit. Originally, I was not a huge fan of this just because I have acne prone skin, and applying anything like a stick to my face and then closing it and applying it again every single day just sounds like bacteria festering and gross stuff like that to me. But I actually accidentally tried this in a different way when the lid of this got stuck and a little bit came off and I scraped it off, used the product, rubbed it between my hands and then applied it to my face. Not only did I feel like it blended so much better, I feel like it stayed so much better, it didn't break my skin out and it felt a whole lot more hygienic. I've been using this every single day and it keeps my makeup lasting all day. It prevents me from getting shiny and I feel like it gives a really good base to adhere the rest of my makeup to. Guys, I have found a new favorite foundation. Honestly, I am completely obsessed with this. And this is the Tarte Amazonian Color Clay Liquid Foundation, and I'm in the shade Light. This makes my skin look flawless, but it makes it still look like skin. It's just so natural and so pretty, and I've gotten compliments from all of my friends being like, what are you wearing on your skin? Because it just looks like I have no acne, I have no discoloration. It's beautiful and amazing. It also makes me really want to try the powder version, which Essie Button is obsessed with, so I think that's my next one. I have two concealing products that I've been loving the month of March. The first one is the Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline, and this is the brightener. I usually just go for the light under eye concealer, but I decided to try the brightener instead because I really want to go for that really awake Kim Kardashian look. So I use this and I apply it in like a V shape underneath my eyes, but then right underneath my eyes, like the dark circle area, I've been using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I use the shade NC20 for this, which is a little more yellow based to cancel out any of the purple underneath it, and I love this. These together are like a power duo. 
Going along with the bronzing and self tanning favorite, I don't apply self tanner to my face just because I do have acne prone skin, but I found a bronzer that works seamlessly with my self tanner. And this is the Rimmel London Natural Bronzer, and it's a waterproof bronzer, and this is in the shade 022 Sun Bronze. This is like a satiny finish bronzer. I wouldn't say it's matte, but I wouldn't say it's shimmery. It just gives you a really nice, super healthy glow. Absolutely gorgeous, and hands down, my favorite bronzer from the drugstore. My favorite lip product of the month is the Maybelline Elixirs. I feel like I am so late on this trend. Everybody talked about them forever, and I'm finally now just realizing how amazing they are. They're just like a super glossy, really pigmented lip gloss. They're beautiful. I want to try the other colors, maybe the brighter colors for spring and summer, so let me know in the comments below if you have a favorite shade that I should try. Hands down, favorite lip gloss from the drugstore. Love. My favorite fragrance of the month is Elizabeth and James Nirvana White. It's a floral, musky scent. I think it's so pretty and super nice for spring. Universally, it's amazing. Packaging, amazing. Plus, Mary Kate and Ashley. We love. We love. Always we love. And now, moving on to the random favorites. I am currently obsessed with this water bottle. This one I got from Cotton On, and it's BPA free, and it's neon pink. But what I love most about this is it has a straw, and the straw doesn't make a funny noise when you use it, and I hate straws that make funny noises, and it's helping me drink more water. My favorite tea of the month is the Yogi Green Tea Blueberry Slim Life Tea. Now, let me first start off by saying I am not trying to lose weight. I don't think this tea is going to make me skinny. Hell, I would have bought if it was like blueberry green tea makes you not skinny. I just like the flavor. It tastes so fruity and so fresh and tropically and super yummy. Green tea is really good for your metabolism and just really good for you in general. So if you're starting off with teas, this is definitely one I would recommend. My music favorite of the month is the band Us and they are a duo of a husband and wife and I am obsessed with their music. I featured them in my night routine video and it's just really light and upbeat, very happy music. It's impossible to be in a bad mood when you listen to it. It's singer songwriting and super folky and I'm just obsessed. But of course, if you guys know me at all, you know I couldn't just pick one album or band, so I actually made an entire playlist of my favorite songs that I've been listening to the entire month of March, and I'm gonna link that below on a Spotify playlist, so make sure to check that out and follow me on Spotify. I have two favorite TV shows that actually got released this month, and I've been completely, completely obsessed with them. The first one is Resurrection, and that's on ABC, and it's kind of like a sci-fi style show about people who are coming back from the dead. It's not like a zombie way, these people are just coming back from the dead in a completely unchanged way. It's very strange and kind of twisted, but it's also pretty cool, and I'm excited to see where it goes. The second one is my all-time favorite show of the month, and that is Crisis on NBC. It's about children of Washington, D.C.'s like most important people, like the President, Secretary of State, and getting ambushed on a school trip and getting kidnapped. And it's kind of about how far the parents will go to help their kids. The first episode in the pilot was already like cliffhangery and plot twisty, and it was absolutely crazy. I was on the edge of my seat the entire time and I'm so, 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 so excited for the rest of it. And naturally we had to throw in, oh my gosh, the finale of Pretty Little Liars. Not saying anything, but oh my gosh. <laughs> So I can already tell you what my least favorite book of the month was. Homegirl Finished Allegiant. To cheer me up from that book, I started reading This Girl by Colleen Hoover, which is part of the Slam series. It's a super easy kind of chick lit spring break kind of read, romancy style thing thing. I've mentioned the Slammed book series in my other favorites videos, but this one is the most recent one and it's told from the boy's perspective, which I think is cute because I'll be honest, I've never met a boy who really thinks like this, but it's nice to fantasize. <laughs> I'm listening to this on audible.com. I talk about Audible every single favorites video. They've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of audiobooks. If you guys are not that into reading or you don't have time to actually sit down and read a book, there are so many different books to choose from. But if you use the code audible.com slash Megan, you get a 30 day free trial to pick out a book of your choice so we can either read along together and read this or any other books that you're currently wanting to read. Let me know in the comments below what your current favorite book is or what you're currently reading because I need some new book recommendation. And finally, my personal and favorite of the month is Lindsay Albany is here on YouTube. She uploads tons of videos all about style because she's a celebrity stylist, so homegirl knows what she's talking about. I actually did a collab over on her channel, which was really fun. She's super nice, and I got to play dress up in a whole bunch of really fun bohemian style clothes, and she did a haul for me over on there, so I'm gonna link that specific video down below. And she's actually styling me for the Kids' Choice Awards, which I'm so excited about, though. If you want me to do a get ready with me for that video and include some of her styling me and picking out an outfit, it, make sure to give it this video a thumbs up. Lindsay is just awesome and I love her channel, so make sure to subscribe and check it out down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!
You were right about the penis thing, Megan. <laughs> okay, so I tweeted out saying,